T Bubba Sports Talk coming to you now. Boom goes the dynamite. Stay tuned for T Bubba Sports Talk. Welcome to T Bubba Sports Talk. You need to be watching T Bubba Sports Talk. I'm ready to watch T Bubba Sports Talk. Stay tuned to T Bubba Sports Talk. T Bubba Sports Talk is coming to you now. What's up, guys? Coming at you from Underdogs Sports Bar and Grill, located in downtown Minden, where the best wings in town are. Get ready to interview Mr. Brandon Wilson. You ready? I'm ready. All right. How's your knee, and will it be ready when training camp starts? You know, my knee is doing pretty good right now. You know, I've been rehabbing. Um, you know, I've been running, cutting, doing all those type of things. You know, I'm just taking it day by day right now, but everything's going good. How did your football camp go the other day? It was good, you know. We had a couple couple hundred kids come out, you know. But it was it was hot out there, though. The kids was <laughs> – some of them was tapping out, but, you know um, – it was good for the community. It was good for those kids, you know, um, for me to just come out there, you know, just give them some inspiration, give them some hope. So um, I think they enjoyed it, you know, so it was fun. I was really wanting to go. <laughs> it's okay. I'm doing one next year too, so. So what made you choose the University of Houston, and what were your other choices? You know, it's kind of a cool story how I got to uh, Houston. So um, coming out of high school, I was hurt my sophomore and my junior year. And, you know, I only played in the playoffs in both of, the, both of those seasons. But my senior year, I played the entire season. And, um, you know, I, I had an offer from Gramlin. I had an offer from Washington Huskies um, and an offer from Eastern Michigan. But I didn't want to go to – I didn't want to go to Gramlin. I didn't want to go to Eastern Michigan. And my offer from – Washington got pulled because they lost a bowl game against Baylor. So um, I just had one choice left, and um, that was to just sign with, like, a um, a junior college. So I signed with Tyler Junior College, and I would say probably a few weeks later, I got a message on Facebook from, like, a coach from the University of Houston just asking me did I want to come down for a visit. So I told him, yeah. So I go down there. I visit Houston, just in there, you know, eat some food. And the coach was like, you know, we're not just going to pay for your meal today, but we're going to pay for your next four years of college. So I was just like, what? So, you know, that was pretty cool, um, you know, that they did that. And I ended up, you know, signing there. And I didn't even have to go to the junior college. And, you know, it, it worked out. It worked out pretty good, you know. I um, I enjoyed Houston. It was, it was a real great school, you know. So what was your favorite college moment? My favorite college moment, man. I mean, college was fun. It was a lot of, a lot of great moments. Uh, I would say it was probably um, when I, when I was able to play running back. Um, I would say in the, I guess like the last three games of my junior season, that was pretty cool. And I would say um, just playing in the Peach Bowl, playing. Um, I guess OU, I had like a K6. That was pretty cool. Um, but, you know, it, it was a lot of it was a lot of cool moments I had in college. You know, it was it was real cool. But, but those are some of them. Who was your idol when you were growing up and why? So my idol growing up, I would say it would be my parents, you know. Um, I just seen them work so hard and not really complain about anything. And they always, you know, provided for us. And, you know, they just, they just never really, never really complained about anything just got got everything done that we you know, asked them. Do you think playing multiple positions like you did makes you become more of an asset to the team? Yeah, I would say the more you can do, the better, you know. Um, coming out of high school, I only played running back. <laughs> but when I got to college, I got moved to, you know, DB. And that kind of helped me a little bit. Like I said, my junior season, whenever they just randomly came to me and was like, we need you to play running back. All the, all the running backs are hurt. So – I feel like just playing multiple positions and just doing other sports, um, like basketball, track, baseball, whatever you can do, just do it, you know, because the more you can do, the better, and it's going to help you um, athletically. So, yeah. What does Joe Burrow bring to the locker room or the team that previous quarterbacks didn't do? You know, it's a lot of great quarterbacks in the NFL, and I would say Joe Burrow, he's he's one of those guys that, that, that don't, hesitate he doesn't you know get scared or anything he just he just attacks 
whatever he he does. You know, he's just a great quarterback, and he's great. He's great for the Bengals. So I would say that's that's probably something I saw. You know, when he first got there, he's just he's just always competing, and he never lets his hands shake. So, who was the toughest person you had to go up against? That's like high school, college, or pro. Man, high school, high school. I would say. I would give a team. That was eventual. That was always a tough team to go against. So, college and you know NFL. Um, you know it's it's a lot of great teams in college and NFL, and I I can't really give you give you one specific. I mean it was it it was just tough just playing in college, you know, um, and in the pros. It's, it's always it's always great players. You know, everybody's great. That's why they're in the NFL. So. That would, that would be my answer to that question. So when you were at Calvary, what was your biggest, like, team that was a rival that you all had to play against or that you wanted to play against? Yeah, so our rival, our rival was Evangel. So <laughs> out of all my time playing them, I only beat them, like, one time. And that was my senior year, and that was that was pretty cool. And, I mean, they don't have their rival. They don't have their rival anymore, but I wish they I wish they bring it back. <laughs> But it was always it was always fun. Do you think having select and non-select state champions, like or state championships, waters down the factor of having a state championship? You know, I feel like that how they how they do it now is probably it, it probably does water it down a little bit. You know, as far as just keeping certain teams and certain groups. So, I I I think I agree with that. Yeah. So this is kind of a wild card question. What was your favorite, or what is your favorite place to eat in like Shreveport, Bossier City? <laughs> Man, I got a lot of you know favorite places to eat. That's that's because I always I eat a lot. Man, shoot. So um, first on my list, well, you know what? Not even I'm not even gonna get lists. I'm gonna just you know just say say these restaurants. So well fed, Key Mexico, Superior Steakhouse. Um, Catina Laredo. <laughs> uh, about Chimmy V's. I ain't had Chimmy V's yet. You need to try, bro. Try it's Chimmy Mexican, Vies. bro. It is. Bing. It's so good. I gotta try. I gotta try. Oh, uh, what else? Man, I can go. I can go on and on. I love going to Chipotle. That's probably that's just <laughs> that's everywhere. But uh, you know, I I, I enjoy eating. So. All right, this was the question that wasn't wrote down. So my parents, if they were able to get me tickets to the Cowboys and Bengals this coming up year for my birthday, you think you can slide me in the locker room? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, security going to let you in, but shoot, I'll try. Like I'll get try a wristband me. or something? Yeah, yeah. All right. Sure, I want to thank Underdogs and Mr. Rookie for letting me hold my podcast and interview here. And Mr. Matt Anderson at On Top Sports for doing all my interviewing and editing. And Mr. Brandon Wilson. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Boom goes to Dynamite.